Okay, so welcome everybody. This is another video tutorial with DRA80. We got a new, well, it's not a new video per se. This this video video already we have it. Is uh, we're gonna be talking about exporting MIDI into your DAW from the DRA80. We're gonna be using the USB cable. Okay, so we got it connected with the USB cable and we're just gonna export the MIDI and this is the video tutorial hope you guys um like it and if you like it hit the like button that will help me a lot so here we go first thing that we need here oh we already um recorded something right right here so we're gonna delete it so we're gonna start fresh we're gonna go little by little we're gonna be I'm checking out all the details so you learn how to configure it correctly. So the first thing that we want to do is just check that the USB is enabled um, via um, MIDI. Okay, so we go into edit. We're going to move the cursor to USB. We're going to go in, enter, mode, enter, and MIDI. If it's on in storage, all you have to do is just change it to MIDI. Okay, with the value button, MIDI. Now we go exit. That's it. That's it for for the configuration. Okay. Just make sure that the the USB cable you're using is good and it's connected to a USB port to the computer. Okay, that, and that's about it. Connect it directly to the computer. Okay. Don't use a dongle just in case that um it will have problems. Just connect the USB cable to the computer directly. Okay, so we are in the main window. This is ready to go, already configured. Now, after you connect it by USB, when you open your DAW of choice, it should it should be able to recognize the device, the DRA80 on um, MIDI settings or MIDI devices. So right here, as you can see, already it, it recognizes it. Okay. In case that doesn't recognize, turn it off. Okay. As you can see, it's not there. Turn it back on. Just in case, right, that doesn't recognize it. And there you go. You have it right there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is the output, the DRA80, we're going to put it on port number 8. The input, we're just going to enable it. That's all. Don't put the port. And that's about it. We don't have to do anything else here on this window. This is done deal. Okay. Now we're going to go to options, right? I'm, I'm using, by the way, if you can notice FL Studio 20, we're going to go to options. We're not going to enable the MIDI output. So disable MIDI output because first we want to record from the machine into the computer, into the DAW. Okay, so we only gonna enable this one. It's already selected. We're gonna uh, um, right click this button here of recording, and we're gonna verify that we have enabled notes. Okay, if it's not enabled, then it should look like this. All you have to do just click on it, and it will be enabled. Um, just in case that you don't have um the MIDI right. Let me just delete it just in case that you don't have anything here. Let's just um, replace or insert one. So let's replace this one for a MIDI output. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to leave it on one. We're going to leave it on port 8 for now. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else here. This is ready to record, I assume. Yep, this is ready. If you can see... Here on the mouse at the left on the top, under the menu, you see this here is going to light up. Okay, so that means that we got signal and it's ready to record. Go into the piano roll. You can see it's lighting up, so everything is good to go. So now what we're going to do is um, enable this here. We're going to put it, instead of song, we're going to put it on pattern because we're going to be recording one pattern. Uh, okay. 
four measures one pattern I, I believe is a bar that's how it's called and we need let me see what else I think we're pretty much done mm, yep I think we are ready to go okay so hit stop go here go to the beginning and when I press play is going to start um it's going to trigger the FL Studio to start here we go okay that's it okay so you see these nodes that went over we're just going to delete them we don't need those because those went over the pattern that we need and we are good to go now you see these notes that are longer these notes are for the bass okay for the bass sound if you need if you need them all you have to do is just copy them into another um pattern so let's do that right now let me close this here just in case that you need them so let's do that first so you got them safe so we're gonna clone this okay and we're gonna just copy this and we're just gonna delete everything that is not the base notes okay got that we got that and just leave those over there that's part of the base okay so we got the base already here okay so that will be on number two so we need to change this to channel number two okay now we need to move the this one to port number eight okay as well as this one on top we're gonna put this one on 10 because by default the drums are on 10 and we're gonna move these to this is gonna go to port number eight which is the dr 80 and here this is the drum sounds you we don't have any sound yet we're going to fix that in a moment. We're going to delete these two. Those are the bass sounds. We already recorded that in another channel. And that's it. Done deal. We got that ready. Okay, so we got two, two MIDI outs. One for the bass. The number two is for the bass. And this one is the main one of the drums. Okay. Now, in order to hear it, we need to disab disable this one. The MIDI input. And we're gonna enable the output, and that's how about it. Okay, that's it. Let me, that was the base on the other channel. Let me turn that off. Let me see, right here, let me see. There you go. We only have the, the drums. And there you have it. And that's it. Okay, so in case that you needed the drums, all you had to do is just put up the volume, and that's it. Always, by default, is going to record the drums and the bass on the same channel. Okay, just to let you know in advance, it's going to happen. There's no other way around it. I tried, and I can figure out how to, how to separate both. Oh, I had to do it manually. Every time that you're going to record, it's going to record the bass. Okay. Now, what happens with MIDI? Well, with MIDI, you could trigger other sounds, other samples, other sound modules, other drum machines. So that's why MIDI is very versatile. You could save this MIDI file right now. This project, you could save it as a MIDI file or export it as a MIDI file, and you might be able to open it in another drum machine or whatever you need to do okay so that's why media is, is pretty good you know very versatile if you need to record this as audio okay just to have a loop of audio that way if you need to do whatever you need to do with it let's go ahead and do that right now we're gonna put it here instead of pattern we're gonna put it on song and our pattern was supposed to be here oh there you go okay 
Oh, pattern number one. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. So that's pattern number one for the drums. Now, in order to record it, let me connect this. This is not connected with the regular audio. So we're going to put this the left and the right. I'm going to use the quarter inch TRS. Okay. And we're going to enable. We're going to go into the recording channel. We're going to record on number one. We're going to enable this. Okay. Don't route it. Don't route this to the master. Okay. So that way you won't have like a loop. I got feedback loop. Okay, and we are ready to go. Here we go. Oh, one second. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, let's say that you don't want this sound in particular. Let's see if we could get another sound. Okay, let's say that we want to use that sound. So here we go again. We're going to record again the audio. Okay, and there you go. So you got two different, um, two different, the same loop, but with two different sounds. Let me get rid of this. Oh, uh, I you cannot hear it let me see hold on one second let me see if i could put that on too let me see if that works if not i apologize i don't have this configured then let's see and nope you won't be able to hear it i apologize sorry <laughs> let me see hold on no yeah okay well so then anyways, you know what to do. You know how to do it now. If you need to record audio or MIDI, you're good to go. Okay. Um, any questions, let me know on the comments. On the comments. I, I really apologize for that sound here that is it's not working right now. I'll see you guys then on the next video. God bless. Stay safe. And see you then.